It's all Jedi wanted today. Nuts. So we got nuts. Even though I tried to explain to her that we already were. Nuts. For nuts. Or maybe we're just nuts. Without nuts. But now I guess we're nuts with nuts. Because Jedi wanted nuts. That's what today has been so far. Nuts. Were they worth the wait? She's just eating her nuts. Cashews, folks. They are yummy nummy nuts. I've only had one, or half of one. I tend to get the cashew pieces and halves, so that way Jedi has an easier time getting through them. Although I've only had half of one or one full one, depending on how you define one. A piece. <laughs> Daddy's probably nuts for letting you hold on to the entire container, but he didn't bring a small one with him. So I'm going to trust you'll be fine with it. Don't spill your nuts. The big windstorm that blew through town was more like a breeze yesterday. And I'm very grateful for that. There's always a buy four, get one free book sale at the thrift store, so we found a few more Star Wars readers. She may have a few of these already, including the Chopper book, which is the one that she decided to bring along with her. So if she does have duplicates of any of these, we can keep the others in the car. Which is to say that there's no such thing as a spare when you have other places to stick the duplicates, because you can't have the two books in the same place at the same time. You could, but that wouldn't make much sense. I'm saying that we could have a completely separate library in the car, on the go. So long as Jedi doesn't suffer from motion sickness like her daddy does. He can't read when things are moving around him. That makes him barfy and headachey. I can hear Jedi in the back seat crunching on the crunchy snacks now, which is good. As long as there's crunching going on. Keep crunching. They smell funky though. To me, they smell funky. The question is, are they supposed to smell funky? I really don't know. Someone in the back seat who shall remain nameless started to recite the ABCs. Okay, it was Jedi. <laughs> it's both sunny and rainy today. I like it. It's kind of like the best of both worlds, though we remain on one world. Guess who found a Halloween bucket? She just had to have it fish crackers that thankfully do not smell or taste like fish. I swear, the crows are state bird. We are set, baby. We've got comics and snacks and floppy. Oh my. We are close enough to get a free apple or banana or orange. Which one are you going to pick today? Of course we have to stop to get into the car. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think you're going to be able to get anywhere with this cone in the way. Uh-oh, indeed. Let's go get your free fruit. They may run out. Next. And done. I can tell it's BB-8. We got some new figures for you. All of them were on clearance. I mean, I mean. You want Sarko Plank first? I asked Jedi to go get her figure box. Are you gonna get it? Yeah. 
Do you know where it's at? I'm at that. This is the first time I'm using my little phone. Everything looks different. Ugh. I just got done with the massage. So my face is all squished and uh, I feel so relaxed. <laughs> that was like the best massage ever. The masseuse even made me cry. Oh, you can't see me. Um, yeah, so he was, you know, talking about my nervous system and my muscles in my neck and you know I have a lot of problems with my neck like it's it always crunches like if I do this it'll crunch like crunch and then I it releases pressure so it feels good but then it gets pressure again I feel like I have to do it again kind of like when you pop your knuckles that's what I feel like in my neck and it's just always so tense and it hurts and then he asked me how old I was and the funny thing is he thought I was a lot younger than I really am which is awesome I love when people say that <laughs> I was telling him how I get massages done because I, I have a lot of anxiety and I have a lot of tension that builds up and when I do massages because I try to do more therapeutic things like versus you know medication or anything like that I don't want to do anything like that so massages really help and then as he was massaging me he just he said that he also does like a group therapy for anxiety post-traumatic stress disorder and another one but I mean he does these groups and he gave me his email in case I ever want to join one of the groups and you know the thing he said that made me cry was if you get anything out of this massage he said I want you to know hold on he said I want you to know that there is hope I just started crying because it's like he gets it sometimes you just need someone to tell you that there's hope and then we started talking about the elections and it's always a touchy subject because I, I don't know what someone is gonna say but luckily we were on the same page with politics. I'm so tired of seeing political posts that are in favor of someone that just hates, just hates. That's what he does, he just hates. Who says that it's his country? Why does he get to make up the rules? People are going to start to think that all we do around here is eat and play with Star Wars stuff. Stuff. Which I suppose would be true. Guilty as charged. Well, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. This is spicy? Really? No. I don't understand you sometimes. You want another bite? He's taking another bite. Whoa, that was really close to Daddy's thumb. You almost bit Daddy's thumb off. That would be bad. But the pizza is good. I don't have any more, but you can have more of your stinky crispies. Those are the stinky crispies from earlier. walked away with the rest of my string cheese pixie thanks for taking a second right now to tap the like button before you watch our next story and for interacting with us across social every day your support is always appreciated and if you'd like for us to keep sharing our daily story with you we hope you pledge on geekfamilyfun.com you'll get even more of what you love from us advanced screenings behind the scenes and most importantly you'll ensure that we can keep doing this for you see you tomorrow